So with this year's convention coming up, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened at last year's convention. And if you remember, Hepacil was a major focus for us last year at convention. We upgraded the formula and utilized the hybrid technology to improve the Hepacil formulation. Hepacil is a product that's close to my heart. I, I love this product. It's a tremendous product. So I thought I'd explain a little bit about exactly the rationale of the design of the formula of Hepacil as well as some of, the, some of the things it does. USANA being USANA, tested, proven, we are USANA, right? We wanted to put our money where our mouth is and prove that Hepacil acts in our bodies specifically as it was designed. So first, let me talk a little bit about the theory behind the design of the formula of Hepacil. So our bodies are constantly exposed to an oxidative stress. Now this oxidative stress can come from the environment, the pollutants, toxins that we're exposed to, but our bodies also endogenously produce these oxidate, this oxidants, these free radicals, as a byproduct of just breathing air. But our bodies are not ill-equipped to deal with this oxidative stress. In fact, our bodies have a mechanism inherent inside of every single cell to be able to deal with this oxidative stress. And how our bodies do this is by turning on and off specific genes. There's literally a switch at the front of every one of these genes that can be turned on when our bodies are exposed to an oxidative stress and then turned back off when our bodies are no longer accruing that insult. So Hepacil was designed to flip on all these switches of these antioxidant and detoxification genes. And so that's what we sought out to prove in our Hepacil study. So one of the major strategies in the design of the Hepacil formula was to increase glutathione levels. And glutathione may be a compound you've never heard of before, but take my word for it, it is very important to our bodies. What's unique about glutathione is that it can act both as an antioxidant and it can be involved in detoxification pathways. Something else that's very unique about glutathione is that we absorb almost no glutathione from our diet and our bodies have to make glutathione itself. So again, one of the strategies of the Hepacil formula was try to turn on these genes, right? Flip those switches to make glutathione. What we did was looked at two things. We looked at glutathione and then we also looked at vitamin C levels. So what we found when we only look at this acute phase, short term, within eight hours of the first administration of Hepacil, we saw a significant increase in glutathione levels. These levels only slightly tended to increase over that one month supplementation, but when we looked at the acute effects again, on top of these longer term effects, we again saw a very significant increase in glutathione levels after a 28 day supplementation with Hepacil. As soon as two hours after supplementing with the first dose of Hepacil, we see a highly significant 20% increase in vitamin C levels that was maintained for the next four hours. This result was so surprising because there's no vitamin C in Hepacil. So we were able to turn on some of these genes that were able to spare the vitamin C that our bodies have naturally occurring in them. When we looked at the acute dosing on top of that long-term one-month supplementation, we again see a significant increase in vitamin C levels. What we were able to show was functional endpoints related to antioxidant protection as well as supporting our body's own natural detoxification pathways. So by supplementing with Hepacil, following the dose on the label, for one month we're able to show increased both antioxidant protection as well as supporting our body's own natural detoxification pathways. So make sure you're taking your monthly dose of Hepacil.